Hello everyone, welcome again to another Tesla tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the issue tracker integration with TestLodge. Now TestLodge by default doesn't come with the defect management module or defect, defect management functionality within it, but it provides a lot of uh, integration capability with other defect tracking tools that we can utilize and as soon as a test case fails in test lodge when you fail a test case if you have the integration with other defect tracking tool then the defect will automatically get created into the other tools now what i'll discuss in this tutorial is i'll integrate test lodge with the jira uh, tool uh, jira cloud and once the test case fails then we'll see the defect automatically gets created into jira now in order to do the integration uh, you have to have that administration functionality in test lodge and uh, if you go to the settings section uh, you will be in the administration section and if you go to the issue trackers you will see that test lodge provides a lot of integration capability so if you click on new integration and select the drop down you will see the number of tools that are available with which you can integrate test lodge with okay so there are open source tools and uh, as well as paid tools so for example jira is the most widely used uh, agile uh, development tool so say for example i want to integrate with jira I'll simply choose the uh, Jira from the drop down uh, title. I'll just leave it as is. Install type is Jira Cloud for me. And then I'll simply provide the URL, the account URL of my Jira. So, Jira Cloud, my account URL is uh, this URL. So, this is the Jira Cloud URL. And you simply copy that and paste the account url for the jira cloud with which you have you, your organization accesses jira so please ensure that you use this https in front as well and then you have to sign in using the email and password all right so whatever uh, you know jira uh, account id you are using you have to use that to sign in into so i'll simply use the email so let me sign in and then the next thing is basically the api token right so you need to use the email and the api token okay so in order to get the api token you can go to the api token and uh, basically you have you you need to go to id.atlassian.com and manage api token so this is the link which you need to click and once you will click on this particular link it will redirect you to the api token so you need to be logged in into your jira account and in the jira account basically you have to create the api token all right so click on create api token and i'll simply name this token as test lodge and i've given the label test lodge and i'll click on create once you'll click on create you can copy this right so i'll simply you know copy this api token all right and you have to make sure that you copy the api token because you won't be able to see this token again all right so simply copy it and keep it in the safe location so i've copied it and i'll go back and paste the api token after the email so i have typed in the email with which i signed up for my jira account and then the api token that i generated and then simply click on add issue tracker all right as soon as i'll add the issue tracker you will see issue tracker integration has been successfully added right and this jira uh, integration is successful now so now what here if you see the re details here so by integrating an issue tracker uh, test lodge will automatically create a ticket whenever test fails right so after 
doing this integration the next step is to update your project so in the test logs you need to update the project and choose the associated issue tracker and uh, the project where in, uh, in in which particular project the tickets need to be created so let's go back to the test log project and update the project or the integration point so if i go to the projects and rcv academy demo project now in this particular project let's edit project detail and in the project detail you need to click on the issue tracker integration right so jira integration is already available and now once i select the jira integration i have to basically provide the jira project key okay so in which particular Jira project I want to create issues. So if you want to see the list of all Jira projects, simply click on see list and it will pull out the list of Jira projects from the Jira instance. Now say for example, I want to create the issues or the defects into RCV tutorials classic. I'll simply select that particular project and save the changes. All right. Now let's go to test run. Now we have done all the configuration of integrating test lodge with Jira and then configuring test lodge project with the project in Jira where the issues or the defects need to be created. All right. Now let's go to this retest run. Okay. So there are four test cases that need to be run. Now let me run the assigned test case and fail this particular test case now if failed automatically create ticket in jira and associate with this test is already checked right so i'll simply say failed in test lodge i'll simply put a comment and fail this particular test case and let's test that this integration is happening successfully right so the test case has been failed one test case has been failed let's go back to the summary and let me open the failed test case and you can see the issue tracker number right so rt7 has been created successfully in jira and if i open rt7 you will see un user registration using facebook account all the details have been filled in along with the steps to reproduce expected result uh, and actual result you can see that this is the comment that i provided failed in test lodge and this has been reported by the user uh, the configuration all those details and along with the test run link has been added into the jira project all right and this is the project where this particular issue got created so rcv classic if i go and see uh, you know you you will find that this particular issue will be created and it is in the backlog right so user registration using feedback uh, facebook account has failed if i go back and run more test cases now let's fail one more and i will say another test failed and i'll say test lodge all right fail it again now there will be another ticket that will be created rt8 right and the link has been um, sent back or basically this test case has been linked to the issue that got created into jira okay so rt8 has been created into jira as well user registration using twitter account so this became really really easy um, the tester doesn't have to basically provide step to reproduce expected result etc in jira automatically as soon as the test case failed the ticket or the defect got created into jira uh, project which we specified and within that project uh, all the details of the test cases got recorded along with the key so you can see two defects have been created here in jira and the link to that particular defect has been automatically added into the test logs test case all right so this is 
a very useful feature of test logs and there are a lot many other integration available with other tools in test logs as well so if you want to explore uh, a lot more detail about different integration options with different issue trackers uh, you can go ahead and explore the new integration option with all the other tools that are available there so it uh, the tool uh, there are open source tools like bugzilla uh, integration available as well and there are so many other tools with which you can integrate test logs with now jira is very uh, widely used so i wanted to cover this part as a demo and how this will work together with test logs and jira in terms of managing defects uh, out of jira and then integrating test logs with jira for the defect management so with this we have completed the key sections of or the key features of test logs tool and how you can utilize test logs for your software testing life cycle and managing the test management uh, responsibilities or capabilities of any of your project along with integrating test logs with jira to manage defects within jira now there are many other integration uh, tools or many other tools with which you can integrate test logs so you can uh, go ahead and, ex and explore those integrations but since jira is the most widely used tool for the agile project management so we have covered the integration of test logs with jira and how you can manage defects or have the defects automatically created from test logs into jira and link back to test logs so that's all for this particular tutorial. Hope you like it. Please do share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.